So we're going to have a look at Shamir's secret sharing algorithm. It's uh, quite a special uh, method. What we have is a, is a secret and what we want to do is to, we want to share the secret so that uh, a certain number or a threshold of people will be required to add their secrets to be able to create the overall secret. So for this what we do is we create a number of shares, in this case we have six shares and let's say we set the threshold as three. So we split the secret into each of the shares. If we have just one then one can't make the secret. So if we have S3, we have S5 and we have S1 then we can actually make the secret back again. Okay, So we could make it 6 and 6 if we wanted or 2 and 6 with 6 shares and then it would require 2 uh, two people to be able to put the their shares together. Okay, so let's look at the pr a practical example. Okay, so we'll take uh, this is a secret password, and what we'll do is we'll create six shares, and then we'll require three shares to be used. Okay, so this is our six shares that we have. So what I've done here is to then take three of those shares and to, you can see that it built back the required password or the secret message. Okay, so to look at the code itself, to be able to see what the code looks like. Here it's here and, and ASP.NET MVC. So in this we take off the share value and the threshold from the web page and this is using the, the Shamir C Sharp library and what we do is we pass in the threshold that's going to be the number of these shares that are required to build the back the secret word. That's the number of shares and then that is the password that that we're sharing as a secret. So then that returns back a whole lot of strings, a list of strings which we we build the backup and then show it to the to the main text box. And then to build the backup, we can use the rebuild secret method with a number of thresholds, and that then gives us back the result. Okay, so that's shown the Shamir's secret share.